To start with, we like to take the hummus. It's nice and thick and creamy. I would say about one cup, two cups. Mix it real nicely. Spicy sauce. Two tablespoons in there. Then we use my mixologist here. I'm gonna mix this Bye. up nice and well. Then we're gonna take our well-mixed hummus with our barbecue sauce. Place it right in a dish here. It'll change your friend's mind about hummus. <laughs> Take our slab of ribs and you get it prepared. We've already taken the skin off the back of this uh, slab here, so it's ready to go. Flip it over, meat side up, and now we're going to make a little bit of a rub to put on this. We like to use salt, a little garlic powder, and some pepper. You don't have to put a whole bunch on there, just want to lightly cover it because you are going to be adding Fat Guy's Gourmet Barbecue Sauce to this when you're ready to eat. So Now we take this here and we're going to place this on a tray. And we like to also add some liquid to it. The secret is, is to put it on there, cover it with your aluminum foil real tight around the edges. You want to seal this on there. Seal it very tight. And then place it in an oven at approximately 200 degrees for about four or five hours. Back onto the counter. There we go. And the rim should be just like that. Perfectly done. Tender. The bone comes off. It comes right apart. Now we're just going to wrap these in the foil and put them in the refrigerator. They're going to suck back in their juices. And you won't lose any of that moisture. If you were to throw them right on the grill right now, they'd probably be fine. But they're going to dry out a little bit on you. So we've let it go now. It's been on the grill a couple of minutes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the slab now and move it away from the heat, flip it over. You see we get some nice grill marks going in there. And then we're gonna put some nice sauce on it. I like to just kind of rub it in, drizzle it on. Nice and heavy. A lot of brown sugar, honey, molasses. We're gonna close it down. No heat under the ribs, and turn this side to low. I'm Kent. And I'm Bob. What makes our sauce special that it's made with a lot of love and quality ingredients. Started back when we had a catering business. Pigs are us. We did pig roast. I'm Italian. He's German. He put his German products in there and I put my Italian products in there and we came up with the wonderful sauce. And our original sauce was probably our spicy. And uh, like he said, I'd go in, add a few ingredients, he'd come in, I'd leave, he'd add the other ingredients. So at that time, nobody really knew what they all were when they were put together. Over the years, I've let him know what I put in, he lets me know what he puts in, so we know what's in there. We do use all whole, fresh ingredients in our products. They're sweetened with natural cane brown sugar, honey, no fructose corn syrup. We don't use any products with gluten in them. So it keeps our sauce clean. Well, I think what's next for us, uh, two fat guys, is just to continue keeping our name out, keeping our products good and healthy.
guys, the best sauce in the world. By the way, have you hit the sauce there? <laughs>